It's your boy Young Thoroughbred. Yeah, and I'm back at y'all again, man. This morning and shit. Live from the green box. Back down like SmackDown. Y'all see it? Got the green box. Green box talk out here. You feel me? Hold on. Let me get that up out there. You know, I'm doing my own shit, man. You feel me? Doing my own shit, man. You feel me? And you got to save some bread. So, you know, so he can go ahead and get that million dollars that hell cash so I can slide through y'all niggas. Hoods, get out of there if niggas try to do it. Getting out of there on the police with that hell cat, that track hawk nigga. Shout out to the A man, shout out to the rack, shot town, Chicago. You feel me? All the guys, you know, for the two times. But yeah, man, I'm gonna get right into it, man. Get the, with the scuds, man. I got the gray and white. You feel me? Get you some gear, man. You can hit me up at uh, on my Instagram, man. Y A U N G W E A R. That's Y A U N. N G W A W E A R W E A R. It's young well on IG man, Instagram man. So y'all can holler at me, get you some uh with the scud, you feel me apparel. Back down like SmackDown. You are looking at the founder of the with the scud's apparel for the two times. Go get you a clothing line too, man. But yeah, man, I'm a, I want I wanna um on another topic. <laughs> Like I was saying, we gonna get to it. Uh, today, we are going to talk about working on yourself. Working on yourself, and you have to be rich before you get the money. You feel me? You have to make yourself rich before getting the money. You already born. Everybody born rich. That means talent or just you being a unique person. Everybody ain't got the same fingerprint. You know what I'm saying? Just you being a unique person always makes you rich and special in your own way. You just got to figure out your talents and what you good at and what you can do and what you develop and what works for you pretty much. So, like when I say that, you know far as a lot of people evaluate being rich um, by what they have you know what I'm saying cars they got about a million dollars a billion dollars in the bank you feel me they got planes you know they iced out you know with the scuds you feel me for the two times you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying they got the rollies you got the rollies, they got the track hawks, the hellcats, you feel me? They got the guineas, the rarries, nigga. You got the bad bitch here, you hear me? She got she slugging, ass bigger than two motherfucker Walla Millers. <laughs> Ooh, shit. You know what I'm saying? She walking in that motherfucking one piece, you feel me? Got her hair laid out. Feel me? Everything doing what she do. You feel me? Music busting. You know what I'm saying? House big, bigger than motherfucking six motherfucking mansions. You feel me? Seventeen bathrooms. I can shit all day. <laughs> oh, Wayne, that's crazy. But yeah, you know. On another note, man, you have to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You become rich before you get the money. Because the money's going to follow. So I say, you know, you got to learn how to do shit. If you broke, your ass should be in a book. Or your ass should be uh, printing to somebody. You should be learning from a motherfucker. If your ass broke, your ass should be learning how to do some shit. You know? It's a lot of shit. You should be learning how to mow a fucking lawn. Change a light bulb. Uh, change some some fucking light fixtures. Uh, get you some pallets. Get you some cans. You know what I'm saying? Go get some type of training, man. Electrical, do some carpentry work. You know what I'm saying? Put up some some walls. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Put up some drywall. 
but get out here like these mess kids and fucking uh what they be doing they be clipping the little bushes and shit you know what i'm saying you can fix a sink you know what i'm saying shit change some oil change a tire you gotta learn how to do something out here man shit besides selling drugs and all that other shit Cause I told you, dude, and like like the Chicago King Day, bro, said the feds run the streets. The feds run the streets. It's inf- it's about a billion informants, and you know, you know, it's the, the jails. Y'all ask is money. Every time they see a nigga, oh yeah, that's thirty thousand. Yeah, nigga. Oh y'all niggas, that's thirty thousand in each your fucking head. Fifty thousand each hundred head, a hundred thousand each head. So how many years you in that bitch? They getting thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty, one sixty, one eighty. Oh shit, I mean one fifty, one eighty. Oh shit, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I just got off this nigga head. He finna do seven, six years. I got two hundred and fifty thousand up front off your ass for just to keep your ass in a dirty ass cell. That I only paying fucking like barely if it's ten thousand dollars a year because you doing every fucking thing. And you think they don't you, you and you think they wanna let your ass go? Shit, they gonna let you go. Shit, if you could bring in 10, 15 motherfuckers. You feel me? Shit, the hell of course they gonna let your ass go. Look at you bring me 28 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, man. And that's how the game go, man. But yeah, man, you got to go here and learn how to do some shit. You got to work hard on yourself, man. You feel me? Shit, you know, if you don't learn how to do it, work out, nigga. Get you some abs, get you some chest, get you some muscles, something, nigga. Work out, shit. Do a little jiggle or something, a dance or something. <laughs> but yeah, man, you got to learn how to do something, man. You feel me? Playing video games and smoking weed and getting drunk all day. That's cool. If that's what you want to do, you feel me? And you don't want shit out your life, cool. I say you do that for a little while and get back to your business. You know? But doing that shit all day, every day, and just throwing your life away for no motherfucking reason. I thought that was a motherfucking... Hey, I'm over here. I'm out in Georgia, man. This, this shit out here, boy, I'm thinking some shit jumping out on my motherfucking ass. I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, I got my motherfucking knife. Where is that? Where the motherfucking clock with the switch at? Where the switch at? Four, give me switch. Four, give me switch. But, yeah, man, you got to learn how to do something, nigga. You better learn how to work on computers, nigga. Fuck cameraman. Fuck what you need. What else, man? You better, shit. Ah, it's a whole lot of shit. Put in motherfucking satellite dishes. You feel me? Niggas still need to need their cable hooked up. You can be a cable man. Fuck out of here. Nah, nigga, man, I don't want to do that, man. Whoa, whoa, man, nigga, you want to sit in that cell and, and, and be around a whole lot of niggas that they saying in the county now, niggas spitting in your ass. The fuck type gay shit is that? I gotta speak on that shit too. Fuck no. Nah. Nigga knock you out and everybody spitting in your booty. That shit is not cool, fool. I don't care what you talking about. If you knock a nigga out, you leave the nigga on the ground and, and, and call him a day left to see yo come pick his ass up. See, y'all niggas on set. Mm, you know what these niggas on, man. That, boy. That shit is liable to see. That shit go, go too far. After some shit like that, man, you do that to a nigga, man. That nigga, boy, if he ain't one of those fun boys... Or one of those Geechees, uh, you feel me, man, bro? You already know, man. You one of them homo thugs. Nigga, it, it, it just went from a, a fight, knockout, to the nigga want to murder you every time he see you, boy. Violate the man like that, man. Fuck that. You already knocked the nigga out. Whoa, whoa, cool. Motherfucker come, out from, come back from getting knocked out. If you a straight dude and motherfucker spit in your booty, dude, like, ain't no coming back from that shit, boy. Fuck every time we, unless you scared of them. Shit, man, you know what I'm saying? It's up, it's up on your ass. But back to what I was saying, bro, like, you definitely got to know how to do some shit. Put, even put this shit, this side and this shit on the door, nigga. Fuck. 
detail a car. You know what I'm saying? Clean people cars, nigga. Washing nigga car. Fuck you talking about a bitch car. You feel me? Yo. House cleaning business. Clean somebody motherfucking house. Carpet. You feel me? It's a lot of shit you can learn how to do. So you got to work hard on yourself, man. On yourself. You got to work hard on yourself. And and, and, and that's what's going to make you rich. You already rich, but that's what's going to bring the rich out. Out. To every, so everybody else can pay you. So the more better you become, the more people will pay you your value increase you know what i'm saying nigga learn how to work on a building learn how to read a business plan learn how to fucking do credit learn how to fucking read uh, a blueprint uh, uh, uh you know what i'm saying on skyscrapers they get motherfuckers millions in bread i just figured this shit out you just from reading a, a blueprint for a skyscraper or some shit if you know how to read that shit they got people who that they got literally they pay money you just read the whole motherfucking uh schematic or the whole uh uh uh, uh outline pretty much you just you just re- learn how to read the inches and how many feet and how many steel and all that shit i don't know how to read it but it's just that's all you reading off a sheet of paper make paper with people a whole lot of money to do that shit and you like you feel me? It's a whole lot of shit. And then the internet. Internet, you can sell anything on that bitch. Like, it's crazy, man. You feel me? Like, you can even get paid to talk. You can learn. A lot of niggas like to talk. You get paid to talk. I'm trying to get paid to talk now. I mean, I got paid to talk a lot of my time. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Shout out to Richard Pryor, man. Because he was he was telling me that shit, yo. Richard Pryor, man. Y'all could y'all check him out, man. He on Instagram and shit too. Shout out to him. You feel me? Like he it is like damn, Joey. That's that's right. You feel me? So he, he hit me with hit me with some sauce. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Get your little boy a little game on how 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 you supposed to uh uh conduct yourself and how you supposed to uh maintain your mindset. You know what I'm saying? And how you supposed to develop and maintain your mindset or maintain and then develop your mindset you know so yeah man that's what i want to say man you got to be rich before you get the money you got to be rich before you get the money you have to be rich before you get to the money you know so you got to work hard on yourself then on your job shout out to jim rome too y'all need to look up him too jim rome Man, it's a genius. I don't know. You feel me? It's just a lot. Learned a lot from that guy, too. Man, he a white guy. But it's crazy, though. And we not going to put that into this mix. Because it don't matter who's the messenger. But, nigga, did you get the message? That's what I'm talking about. You know? So, that's what I want to end it on a note. Shout out to Valley Low, man. We going to get back to it. Uh, then we going to see what's up, man. Get you some with the scuds once again. Holler at me on IG on Young Thoroughbred too. You can put Young Thoroughbred on on IG. It's Y A U N G T H O R O U G H B R E A D on Instagram too, or Y A U N G W E A R. That's Young Wear on Instagram too. Come holler at your boy. Get you some gear, man. Get you man. I get you saucy. You feel me? Real, real, real quick, real quick, man. And and I'm just going to say it like that. And like that, we gone. Two times. Good.